Retired politician Hugh Marshall Sr. has been named commander of the Order of the British Empire for services to Antigua and Barbuda. Marshall served the country as a parliamentary secretary from 1976 to 1980. In 1980, he was elected to the lower house as the member of parliament for St. Mary's South. The distinguished citizen later served as a minister of government until 1994. It's credited for the inclusion of a clause in the Constitution of Antigua and Barbuda to enable the transfer of citizenship to grandchildren. He's also done applaudable work in tourism and trade. I'm honored that I have been chosen for it, but um, Jamie, I would not wear it on my sleeves. I won't wear it on my sleeves. I, I, I hope that what it can do is to motivate others to know that if Marshall who no me had no shoes to wear go school, can reach them, me can reach them past that. He thanks Governor General Sir Rodney Williams for nominating him and Prime Minister Dion Magasson Vaughan for approving the nomination. Nonetheless, Marshall Sr. says he would have preferred if it was a national award. I think I would have felt better if this honor came from a different source. I certainly would have felt honor. But a, 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 a prophet has no honor in his own country. Canadian John Michael Petrie has also been awarded for services to Antigua and Barbuda. Petrie has been named an officer of the Order of the British Empire. He also thanks the government for his nomination. Uh, I'm, of course, uh, very humbled uh, by it. Um, it's not something that uh, you, you expect. Petrie has served as genealogist to Sir Rodney for several years, voluntarily providing expert advice on matters relating to the Crown, the National Honour System protocol relations between the palace and the office of the Governor General. He's also guided the Government House Restoration Initiative. We recognise uh, by um, uh, Her Majesty uh, for, for this work is uh, well, both humbling and indeed uh, uh, a pleasant surprise. Throughout history, monarchs have rewarded those who have shown service, loyalty or gallantry with gifts or titles. Honours are usually awarded by Her Majesty the Queen on her New Year's and birthday list to 15 Commonwealth nations, including Antigua and Barbuda, on the advice of the government. Recipients can either elect to receive their insignia at the investiture ceremony in the UK, officiated by Her Majesty the Queen, another member of the royal family, or locally by the Governor-General. Jamie J. Roche, ABS News.